Uh, I'm Bernie Cuevas. I'm a handmaid of the Lord from North B as of now. And years in CFC, uh, my husband and I started in CFC. Our first CLP was in 1985. Uh, then we had to go to, to go to the province, but at that time there was no couples for Christ there yet. So somehow we got disengaged. But in 1990, because of the rapid and massive evangelization, uh, a couple came to our home and said, we heard that you were couples for Christ before. Can you help us to start couples? So in 1990, we had our second CLP, and uh, my husband became the first leader of uh, Camarinas Norte, Couples for Christ. And then uh, in 1992, he unfortunately passed away. It was a very difficult journey. Uh, I'd say that uh, in the Lord's wisdom, uh, when after my husband has been fully transformed, uh, he was actually uh, assassinated by the NPAs in Tomarinas North. It was the time when he did not carry guns anymore. It was a time when he was carrying the Bible. It was a time when he was such a dedicated leader of uh, Couples for Christ, going around asking all his friends to join couples. So in a way, it was very difficult because it's difficult to fathom the wisdom of the Lord, how he could allow the life of this person who has been truly in love with the Lord. In fact, if I remember, I remember very, very clearly that uh, he said, and the Lord must have been listening, and he said, you know, I would rather die than be away from you. It was the community of Couples for Christ that helped us through the whole process. Both the community and friends uh, who took care of everything because I wasn't, <laughs> I guess I wasn't in my right mind. I wasn't prepared for it. And uh, the, the shock was really uh, just overwhelming. And. Uh, uh, this, this, the Couples for Christ were there for us every day. They were the ones who took care of everything. Our friends were there. The very close friends of Bingoy were there. And uh, they, they helped us through, through the way, through the burial. Uh, family came. Uh, and uh, after that, uh, it seemed that the only option that uh, we had as a family to get out of uh, diet. Being a widow, uh, it just so happened that in 1993, the family ministries was started. Uh, so I was asked to join the family ministries. But at that time, because I was still young, I was asked to serve in Singles for Christ as the pastoral leader of the women of Singles for Christ. So I was actually serving in Singles for Christ for a number of years until around 1999, year 2000, when my daughter was already in Singles for Christ. And uh, I requested to move to Handmaids of the Lord. Because of my continued service in community through the family ministries, eventually uh, I was able to convince my children to join the Youth for Christ, uh, my two older children. So they became uh, Youth for Christ. They even became mission volunteers. Uh, one even became a uh, full-time pastoral worker, Isa, for, uh, for Youth for Christ. And eventually, uh, she moved to, to help uh, establish GK. And uh, I think we all found our faith in Couples for Christ, even my children. Even while I was in the OH, I was already being invited to consider full-time work. And then eventually, uh, when my project ended, even if I was offered to uh, to get a more permanent job in the in the DOH or in one of its uh, uh, one of its uh, subsidiaries, but I felt very strongly the calling of the Lord. Uh, and uh, at that time, we were just starting the work with the poor. This was in 1996, uh, it, uh, where we had the first uncle. 
the spelling of angkop at that time was A-N-G-K-O-P. <laughs> it's, uh, it's fit. It's, it's the right fit uh, of the work with the poor and couples for Christ. So I actually uh, became, uh, when I was invited, I said yes to that. And I helped to, uh, to set up the work with the poor and couples for Christ. That was in around in, in 1996. Because I was a project development officer in BOH. Uh, project development has become second nature to me. So it was like uh, the beginnings of the work with the poor of uh, CFC was like just a project development. It, it started that way. And then of course from, from there, uh, uh, I think the, the Lord has this funny way, no? I mean, uh, of moving me around, of moving me around. So starting with the COP, then we started the Tecton Ministry, and then um, from the Tecton Ministry, uh, I was also involved for a while in GK, uh, but uh, Tecton was more my calling, so it was really more of the livelihood for the women that I was uh, involved in. And then uh, eventually, after the split, Tecton was uh, converted into Angkop. So at that time, I was asked naman to uh, help set up Cornerstone. So and, uh, since Cornerstone was still working with the poor, that was still in my heart. So uh, again, I, I helped in the development of the project of the Cornerstone and eventually turned it over uh, to, uh, to the family ministries because Cornerstone was really a family ministry uh, uh, commitment no? uh, for the children. Tutorial and all of that. And then eventually, for some reason, I got into the operations of CFC. <laughs> so, in CFC, uh, parang, parang, parang ano ako, parang, because nga of that training for development, no, for, for program project development. So, I actually handled a number of uh, departments in GFC with the IC secretariat, with the, with the secretariat, with the, uh, I got involved in HR, uh, I got involved in the establishment of the CFCI, the institute, and then uh, I retired, I was rehired, and uh, now I'm with the operations of uh, the Global Mission Center as uh, uh, as the head of the manage of the uh, management office, uh, and then uh, now as the mission support group head, you know constantly I pray about that. There's so many changes that happened in GMC. Uh, we we reorganized. Uh, we are we underwent the pandemic. Uh, we learned how to adjust to the new work. Uh, uh, new work, uh, what do you call this, uh, parang situation that we found ourselves in. And it all happened around the same time. No? So it was one after the other. Reorganization, pandemic, and all. And uh, we, some of our people, the more senior people left, and uh, we now have a lot of younger people, new people in, in, uh, in the GMC. And uh, the only thing that I see is God is changing us. And is changing us for the better. He's preparing us for the future that sometimes we cannot even see, but God sees. I, I dream about a future when God uh, will expand the work of CFC, not just on a physical level, but uh, uh, in in space, in the internet, I mean, uh, God wants the work of Couples for Christ to expand even more than just physical presence. I'm Bernie Cuevas, and I'm a CFC for life.